great today. <laughs> Welcome in then to the latest edition of Extra Time. Thank you as always for your questions. Ali Moreno with us here in the studio. Uh, Frank LaBeouf joins us as well. And as does the man, the myth, the legend, uh -huh. the bearded one. Yes. Uh, Steve Nichols. Yes. Oh, I don't think his sound's working. I don't think you can hear us. <laughs> it's going brilliantly. <laughs> this is quite something today, I'll tell you what. Right, Frank. What would you have done differently playing against Haaland? How would you have defended him closely or wait until he turns to face you? There is any solution to, uh, to, to, to do it differently against uh, Haaland. Uh, because you want a marking, you want to be close to him, you don't want him to turn, but with his body, you don't even see the ball. So you have to go right or left to make sure you can see the ball, therefore you're going to make, uh, to make a decision and he's going to turn the other way. If you take a little bit of distance, the guy is powerful, he's fast, uh, he's, uh, he's skillful. Again, uh, I, play, I, I play only once against Ronaldo. It worked well, but I think you have to be very lucky because that, those kind of players doesn't give you any possibility to, to win uh, against them because they have every tool that you, need to, uh, uh, that you need to be a fantastic player. And they are fantastic players. And mo most of the time, you look ridiculous. Uh, but you have to give 100%. You have to make sure you're going you're gonna, you're gonna to be ready to, uh, to die on the field against those players and pray that uh, something fantastic is going to happen that day against them. But otherwise, you will be like the others. You're going to suffer and, re and be uh, humiliated by those players. Is the music loud? It's quite loud in my ear. <laughs> Hey. No, oh, no, right, now it's gone. Now it's gone. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's the power. Stevie can hear us again. Yay. Stevie, how are you? I'm all right, aye. <laughs> <laughs> how have your boredom levels been over the last two weeks? Oh, seriously. I mean, do you know what? It's, do you know what's really strange? I'm actually very good at sitting on my backside doing nothing. Right. <laughs> I'm really good at it. <laughs> but you know when you actually... You know when you actually have to do it? Yeah. It's a completely different mindset. It's weird. I've got to tell you, though, the worst thing is trying to get to sleep. Oh. Hey, why don't you try to sleep with this thing on? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I've got, to, I've got to wear that in bed. Stevie, I've just Absolute explained nightmare. what you had done. A lot of people have asked what you had done. I had uh, repairs to the muscles and the tendons uh, around my, um, what do you call it? Rotator your cuff. Shoulder. Your uh, rotator cuff, yeah. So oh, the, yeah. the muscles were torn and the tendons had separated from the bone. So I had to get it all put back together wow. again. Put yeah. the jigsaw back together. Uh, could you just look the other yeah. way, Stevie, so we can just see the side beard profile? <laughs> 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 Look at yeah. that. Oh, it, it looks, it looks oh. better that way. <laughs> so obviously, oh. obviously you're left-handed, so you can't shave. That, that's where we're at. Or is this yeah. a new a desired new look? Because I would say maybe. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep that center. And you're not trusting. Not you're not trusting Eleanor with a razor blade. Well, I'm not flavour of the month with Eleanor, so right now, no. Why, what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's what I haven't done. I've been giving it the old, uh, I can't move with this shoulder. <laughs> so I can't do anything. <laughs> oh, imagine looking after Stevie all this time. You, know, you could go to a barber shop and get <laughs> shaven. I'm just saying. Yes, but that would cost money. Oh, I see. Stevie's not going to pay for a wet shave, is he? I, I you, couldn't. Oh, 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 oh that's so hard. Where's the barber shop? Say again, Stevie. Where does a barber shop I can get a shave? So where, where, where can I get a shave at a barber shop? They all do them. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. Who? Oh, dear, I've never... I've... There you are. I don't a... know that. See, you learn something every day. It's a nice feeling. <laughs> I like how it, it is. It, you feel a bit special. It's nice. <laughs> Well, I need to get Elna to drive me there. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, wow. I don't know whether she'll be oh. that keen right now. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to walk. <laughs> Reed Ten Hag's post game comments, and he said there was a lack of belief from the kickoff. As a player or coach, what are the signs you can see from the players on the pitch that shows this lack of belief? 
Can you change this attitude right before the game or is it too late, Stevie? Do you know, this, uh, this lack of belief thing, you know, there's always, you know, when you, when, when you tell your team that you're going to sit back a bit and let them come on to you, then you're, ask, you're, ask, you're asking them to just sit off. And that can be dangerous. You know, players, players get things in their head and they're maybe too busy looking around and looking for numbers and instead of concentrating on, right, wh where's the line? Where's the line we back off to and then we stop? They didn't seem, it didn't seem as though they had a line. You know, like I would tell my team, we were away in LA when they were at their best, I'd be like, right, 10 yards inside our, uh, 10 yards inside our half, that's where we draw the line. That's where, that's where we go and take a step up uh, and, and engage the ball. It didn't seem as though they had anything like that, that sort of plan. It, it, it almost felt as though he said, right, we'll back off and then once we win it, then we'll break. But you've got, you've got to give them clean, precise orders so that every single one of them knows where that line is. Where, where do we stop? And they didn't, it didn't look to me as though they did. Frank. So I, I just think it's, it's always kind of dangerous. To, to tell your team to step off because it's almost like you, you, you're almost like telling them right, just keep out the road. Frank, as a player on the pitch and, and obviously you were quite a vocal leader, can you do something to give the side more belief? Well, there is the frame of mind that you are uh, before the game and that you and uh, with all the hopes that you can get. And, uh, but after eight minutes, like it happened today to Manchester United, you, you can see the goal. So I think you can reunite, you can reunite all the players and regroup all the players. And as a leader, say, OK, guys, OK, we're not going to be uh, uh, sank by the, 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 the team that you're going to play against, that we play against. We have to, 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 to work together and, and maybe you can change something. We play, let's play a little bit higher or, or drop a little bit, depending on what you want to do. Yes, there is a time to change stuff, and we are professional players, so we have to make sure that we are we can respond to any changes of tactic. It's difficult, but I saw, for example, Shaka score, when uh, Arsenal scored the first goal. He talked to the players, and, I, and I'm sure that I know what he what, what he told them. Guys, we have to keep on playing. We have to to be uh, to be sure that we stay high on the field. That we can do on the positive way. It's harder on the negative. Uh, uh, well, negative moment, but uh, but it can be done. I'm sure it can be done. It's difficult, but it can be done. What's it like at half-time, Ali, when you're like 4-0 down? Yeah, whatever sense of belief you had is gone because you're now questioning everything. You're questioning yourself, right. you're questioning the manager, you're questioning the guy next to you. And usually, if a team is not together to begin with, and it's now for nothing, and it's now half-time, you then very easily start pointing the finger. Instead of doing what Frank just mentioned, which is, hey, can we get together right. and be better? The tendency is usually the team gets even more fractured. So in the case of Manchester United, mm -hmm. I suppose what you can highlight is the fact that the second half came and there was at the very least some sort of fight from Manchester United. Now, I would argue that they were playing against a lesser version of Manchester City who had essentially downgraded their performance to match Manchester United. But regardless, if you're a Manchester United fan, be encouraged by the fact that at the very least the team just didn't put their heads down, shoulders down and stop playing, which could have happened very easily. And if it had happened, then this game would have been completely out of control. Frank, don't be political. Give me a 100% honest answer. If you were Harry Maguire, mm. would a little bit of you have enjoyed that? <laughs> um, no, no, no. I, I wouldn't enjoy it. Uh, I think, I think, um, you even, I think, um, you would be a little bit upset by the fact you couldn't play. Uh, that, uh, uh, um, that you will react. My position will be, I must be so bad to not being, ab not being able to be on the field. 
with that team losing that much. So it will, it will uh, make me questioning my, uh, my abilities and my, my football. And I think I will be more upset about myself than being happy to what happens to my teammates. Because at the end of the day, the teammates have nothing to do with my situation. Right. That's the choice of the coach. And I cannot be happy with, the, with what my teammates are uh, suffering about. Stevie, on yesterday's show, I asked, not me, mm. the righteous anger of Craig Burley, uh, the percentage chance <laughs> that Arsenal would finish ahead of Liverpool. Craig and Shaka had 60-40, Jan had 51-49. Everyone's saying Arsenal. Yeah. What yeah. chance do you give Arsenal to finish ahead of Liverpool? What percentage? Yeah, hmm. I saw that. I'll, I'll go in between both Craig and and Jan. Somewhere somewhere in between. 55-45 on Arsenal's favour. You know, at the end of the day, it is only eight games. Mm -hmm. We've still got, what, another 30 to go? Yeah. But, you guess you've got to try and figure out the way things are going and how they might continue to be. And I don't see anything changing. Pretty, I don't see anything changing quickly with Liverpool's defence. And so you'd have to go with Arsenal. So I'll go, I'll go 55-45 on Arsenal's favour. You know, there were a couple of moments there where math could have been an issue, but Stevie pulled through. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, he's all over. Yeah. Don't question him. The percentages were clean. Yeah. yeah. The remaining games were clean. That's I just right. need... Yeah, I'm just saying, he's had plenty of time <laughs> to think about that. Go, 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 go on. Go on, Frank. Guys, do, do, you know, do you know when Arsenal plays against Liverpool, uh, Manchester City, sorry? Is it soon or not? Because the thing is, you know, if they are they, they, they're full of confidence right now, but if they have to play very soon against that fantastic Manchester City mm. and being by the, the, the team, like any team would be, they are, they are a very young team, very young players, you know? The reaction of those players could be dreadful after that because of their questioning that they could have you know about about their football so it's why i'm asking that but if it's if it's soon that they're going to play at the etihad against uh, manchester city that manchester city it could be a turning point to a uh, gunner's uh, uh, season so it's why it's hard to answer that question i think um the, on the similar theme you kind of covered it stevie uh since it's clear arsenal finished top four would Stevie be willing to go double or nothing that Arsenal finish higher mm. than Liverpool? Of course, $50 mm. is the bet we had at the start of the season. I said that Arsenal were going to finish no. in the top four. You said they'd be lucky to finish in the top ten. Obviously, that's looking slightly different no. now. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Stevie? Double or nothing? It's not like, it's not like you to make stuff up, Dan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> he, looks, he looks like a no defeated way. man, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, just, right. just look at him. Come on. He's it, just had a procedure. Be respectful. Yeah. Well, I'd be respectful. Uh, look, look at the Listen. man. Look at the man. He hasn't been able to shave. No. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it, he doesn't want to go to the barber and you want him to double the bed? <laughs> yeah. That's, come on now. Yeah. Stevie. You're asking a hobo to give you more money. Yeah. Stevie, how's washing in this scenario? <laughs> Oh, no, don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> not, as, not quite as frequent as it used to be. I can smell it from, from the upstairs. I can smell it. No wonder, no wonder Element's not happy with you. <laughs> oh. uh, Frank, on well, current... I'm in the other room, isn't I? So it's no matter. Uh, uh, on current... I'm the only person that'll smell me. <laughs> Ah, what the a dog's thought. no bothered. What so a thought. Right. <laughs> uh, on current form, Frank, where does William Saliba rank in terms of best centre backs in world football? Oh, calm down. Uh, is, I would say that it's a little bit too soon to rank him um, and compare him to some other centre backs, you know, in the world of football. Uh, he had a fantastic season for Marseille. Is doing absolutely great for the Gunners right now. If he carries on, <laughs> he can be one of the best centre back uh, in the world, that's for sure. But in a world of football, it means that you have to talk about Marcel Desailly, 
Sergio Ramos. No, now. Um, no, playing um, now, Frank. Now. Oh, now. Yes. Now. Beckenbauer. He, he was just about to say Frank LeBeau. <laughs> yes. yes, he was. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about myself. Never. You know me. I'm very humble. Um, um, it's definitely this season, from the beginning of the season, yeah, one of the best. One of the best. But I... I could I could name like uh, Alaba or so many others, you know. Mm. But he's one of he's one of the best. He's the, in the top ten for sure. Would you swap him for Van Dyke, Stevie? Ooh. No. He's not playing. No. Nope. Experience? Playing. Not messing around. No. Experience. Hey, listen. Again, let's calm down. <laughs> the kids, the kids had eight good games for Arsenal, oh. and Van Dijk's eight more than Van Dijk. Had, had kind of struggled doing eight games. <laughs> so you're telling me, are you telling me that that's it? It's over. There's not, a, there's not a player, there's not a player that played the game professionally that hasn't gone through a bad time. I don't care how good you, you, you are or have been or could be. Everybody has a tough time at some stage, and right now, oh. well, Joe Van Dijk's having a tough time. Wow, it happens, but. I'd still take him over Salibi right now. Uh, a question to all. Who was, ever, who was your favourite opponent back in the day, Stevie? Uh, Newca Newcastle. I used to always score against them. Oh, you got your hat-trick <laughs> against Newcastle. Um, aye. Yeah. yeah. Scored against them at Anfield. Scored against them at St James's Park two or three different occasions. Yeah, so. Perfect. No, I enjoyed playing against Newcastle. There seems yeah. some background noise going on, Steve. I heard some shouting. Is, is that your dog as well? That's the dog. <laughs> okay. the, the dog which you tripped over and which started all of this. Well, well, somebody is throwing a ball or something up and right upstairs. Right. That's what the noise is. Okay. Who's doing that, Stevie? <laughs> hey! <laughs> 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 oh no! He <laughs> <laughs> looks so fed up. Hey, oh, Newcastle, Frank. Who did you like? Who did you like playing against? Uh, Leicester. Yes. Uh, I had good run with Leicester. Yeah, that was the FA. And, was that the uh, FA Cup yeah. game? The quarterfinal of the FA Cup game that I uh, we we drew away from home the first game. And I saved at the last minute on the line. Yes. And the second game, I scored a penalty on the 116 minutes, uh, which was, I'm sorry, <laughs> it wasn't a penalty, <laughs> but I scored. <laughs> and uh, and the best goal of my uh, of my life was against uh, Leicester in the 19th minutes in the yeah. in the Premier League. Yes. And uh, that was a great uh, great uh, souvenir there's memory. All, there's sorry. all that humility coming out. Yeah. Again, mm -hmm. the full menu. What about you, Ali? <laughs> DC United. <laughs> oh yeah, DC United with your team. For whatever reason. I didn't score many goals then. Yeah, but against DC United. And that Sebs team as well. Makes it even better. Well, yes, I didn't know that then, but yeah. now it makes it even better, yes. <laughs> right, final question. Very pertinent. Uh, Frank, do you have any beer tips for Stevie? Anyone? Yeah, uh, <laughs> beer tip. Uh, make sure that <laughs> it's not too long. Yeah. Make sure yeah. that it's not too designed. Make oh. sure it's not too designed because you will like look like a rapper, and I think yeah. you're, or, or, or you're too yeah, old it's for well that. Yeah, well designed, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think yeah. Stevie's got Make that. Make it wide, a little yeah. bit wide. Yeah, no, exactly. Ali, you had a big beard when Columbus Crew won. Yeah, but Cup. it was about. Team togetherness. Oh, everyone grew up. Everybody grew up. But, but yours was quite full. It was much more impressive than what Stevie's yeah, got. It's, it's a, it Any was tips? A play of beer. Yeah. Um, no, well, first, if he doesn't like it, he's got to go to a barber shop. Right, okay. Yeah. 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 And because it becomes quite annoying. And for somebody who cannot use his left hand, and now he's going to have. It's gonna get very yeah. itchy and scratchy, yeah. and and I know Stevie, he's gonna get annoyed by this. Yeah, but it's gonna be what I'd say thirty dollars to get it done. He's not paying thirty dollars no. for a shave. Is <laughs> look, 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 see exactly. No, no, no but you can you, you no pack it, package deal with the uh, haircut. I'll wait. You know, if you, if you make it as part of the package then for the haircut, then it's fifty, sixty dollars, isn't no, it? No, no, no. Look, he's gonna give you fifty dollars at the end of the season. That's a, that's a well, different story. No, I think I think I use. No, but it would be a good experience for Stevie. I think he would enjoy it. He would be pampered. No, so, because every it, it would so, just be thinking, oh, this is costing so much money. Uh, you know what, Stevie's brain no. and our work. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if it's thirty bucks to get a shave, yes, 
and I don't get it done, then I'll stick it out till I can use my left arm, and then I'll, I'll that means it's only going to cost me twenty dollars extra to give you. Yeah, but you've got to. So look the thirty dollars like I was going to pay on a shave, I'll put that towards your money. Right. So I'm only giving you twenty dollars, really. Okay, Stevie. So actually, the bet's twenty dollars. Well, <laughs> Stevie, <laughs> Stevie, twenty dollars. I don't mind that. Stevie, Stevie, I swear, I swear to God, I swear to God, I, I pay for you. Oh, Make it clean. Oh, I pay for you. <laughs> there I love you. Yeah. There there you is. Is. Send me the check. Send me the <laughs> send me a check. Send me the <laughs> invoice. I pay for you. you. You could Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, but yeah. no way Stevie knows any of those things. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll look to do it. Uh, Frank, Frank is talking to me. Uh, Frank is here. When is he? Uh, Frank's here next month. Is he? To give parts the money over then. Oh, there we are. What a moment. Uh, of course. It. Yeah, of course. Per perfect. There we are. Well, Stevie's happy now. <laughs> and while you're at it, can you give Dan $50? I'll take anything. <laughs> Frank's. Bones, uh, shackles. That, uh, that is it. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, Frank's haven't existed for a while. Uh, that is it. ESPN FC <laughs> back on your screens. Corona. Are you back here tomorrow, Stevie? No, Tuesday. Oh, okay. Thank you, well, Stevie. Bring a bit more. <laughs> yeah, more energy, I'll please. A, more I'll have a ZZ top. <laughs> um, that By is... Tuesday, I'll be like ZZ top. Right, that's <laughs> it. Nice <laughs> <Most> relevant reference. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.